start with breaking news now here at 703. There was a commercial building fire in downtown Los Angeles in the Fashion District. Let's get out to Gigi Graciette, who has an update for us on what's going on. And Melvin, we start with breaking news. Just spoke to LA City Fire. They have now declared this fire a major emergency, which is basically the top tier of emergencies for our local fire department. 120 firefighters here on the scene. We are on Main and 14th. This fire is starting at about 5.09 this morning. And right now, what we're seeing is that thick white smoke, much better than the thick black smoke we have been seeing all morning long as that fire hit hit new pockets of uh, fuel. This is, according to the owner, a wholesale t-shirt manufacturing and distributing business. And joining me now live off camera, David Ortiz with LA City Fire, and he's got the update. Uh, I understand the fire started about 510, 509, a 911 call uh, alerts you to the fire. Correct. We got the call initially reported on Los Angeles, the other side of this street here, and uh, we came out to found the front of the street. The uh, building is on Main Street. Uh, we have approximately 120 firefighters on scene now. They tried to do an aggressive interior attack initially, but due to the amount of material on the inside, we went to the defensive posture. We backed off of it a couple of times to see if we've gotten to the seat of the fire, but obviously, as you can see, there's still a lot of material that's burning on the inside. Firefighters did a phenomenal job of keeping the fire from spreading to neighboring buildings. We did see part of the fire trying to get into the second floor of this neighboring building, but firefighters have been successful in trying to limit the spread. Uh, as of now, no injuries to firefighters. The cause of the fire is still under active investigation. This is what we call a major alarm now, major emergency. We have over 120 firefighters thus far, and um, we're just uh, trying to pour a lot of water onto this to, to slow it down. That call the incident commander made, I happened to hear it. Just It was a critical call and so timely, obviously, years if not decades of experience. He pulled his men, his women out of that building off the roof just moments literally before it collapsed. And that is correct, and that's part of uh, their responsibility is to make sure that they are um, uh, accurately, you know, uh, watching the building, watching the fire behavior, looking at the stability of the building and making sure that we don't get anybody hurt. Such a critical call. David Ortiz, we're going to check in with you in just a moment. Thank you very much. I want to go to our eye in the sky. Stu Mundell is in Sky Fox above the fire. He has a whole different perspective, which shows you not only the intensity, but how big this building actually is. Stu? That's right, Gigi, and we're continuing to watch LA City Fire Department doing what they can to get those flames in check. But those two buildings on either side of that structure that is on fire, uh, like uh, uh, like the PIO just mentioned, I believe they're going to be safe. That's Captain Ortiz, I believe. You can see those fire the fighters still putting a lot of water on it. That roof is collapsed completely from front to back of this building, and that's going to be a plus and a minus because the, the minus, clearly the roof is gone, but the plus is now they can get water water onto all those materials that are inside that building. It's still a very active firefight out here, and that smoke right now seems to be waning once again, but sometimes we've seen it in the past. It'll hit some other pocket of fuel. Maybe something's going to collapse down there, and those flames will kick up once again. I can't even imagine what it's like down there for, uh, for you, Gigi, and also Tony. My eyes are watering sometimes just watching that smoke bellowing down onto Main Street. Right now, it seems to be going a little bit more straight up and down. Again, the smoke probably can be seen anywhere in the downtown Los Angeles area, definitely from the 10 freeway. And I say that uh, we hear now that two firefighters with injuries, hopefully they're minor, they'll be okay and be back on the job soon, but no injuries to civilians, but still a very active firefight out here in the downtown Los Angeles area. I'm Stu in Skyvox. Back to you all in the studio. All right, Stu, thank you so much for your coverage up there, and we'll keep an eye on it as the morning goes on.